board members. We have two components to this. Tom's going to talk a little bit about the resolution we need for phase six. <clears throat> but prior to that, I want to make a statement about phase seven, which you're all familiar with. That's the one that starts at 25th Street and goes to Long Lane. Mm -hmm. Just in case somebody isn't familiar with the number. So, after much anticipation, I'm pleased to report that virtually all work is complete on the Phase 7 expansion of the LBRT. As you're all well aware, developing this section of the trail from 25th Street in West Lebanon to Long Lane in North Lebanon Township was by far the most challenging to date for a variety of reasons we're all familiar with. But thanks to the patience and persistence shown by this Board of Commissioners, as well as County Planning Department, and our partners at PennDOT and DCNR, we have added another link in what will eventually become a cross-county trail system. A trail system that now also connects to another county treasure, the Union Canal Tunnel Park. Having scouted this path when it was barely passable, a mix of mud and weeds, Jamie was out there with us, um, I'm simply amazed by the transformation we observed during the final walkthrough last week. There's relatively small, a relatively small list of punch list items from that inspection, but the contractor, J.D. Ekman, and the engineer, Wilson Consulting Group, should be commended for an outstanding job. So, uh, at this point, I'm recommending we open the trail to the public, if you concur. Uh, this would be a soft opening right now, but we are planning an official ribbon cutting ceremony on September 19th. So we'd like you to mark your calendars for that. Um, we anticipate having representatives from PennDOT as well as DCNR at that ribbon cutting ceremony. Do you have a time for that, John? Not specifically yet. Okay. It'll be late morning. So We're just reserve around. the date for now. Late like morning into 11 the afternoon. 11. Tom and the county planning folks are actually trying to coordinate that as more of a, um, we'll have a ribbon cutting, but also a tour of uh, what's been completed at phase seven and phase 9B, the bridge over the Swatara Creek. Okay. And will we be um, carpooling there or will we be um, Lebanon doing Transit Lebanon bus. Transit They've bus. already agreed to that. Great. And we're also going to go out to the Inwood Iron Bridges site, PennDOT wants to also showcase that project to the media and DCNR and others just because there is a link there as well to the trail system that goes beyond LBRT. Yes. So there were a couple safety items on that punch list that you may have seen. Jamie sent out some photos that we feel pretty confident have been addressed. We didn't really want to open the trail immediately last week because of those. Those have been we think adequately addressed in the short run um, with some orange safety fencing at the bridge near the Miley farm. That'll have a permanent fix with a more gated structure on either side of that bridge. Um, but there's a lead time on that structure on that particular part that they need to complete that. I think they said it's about six weeks delivery till those will be there. So they strung orange safety fence on those corners where it's open. So it's, it's actually an opening. When on they the go side. back to do that, then will the tip trail be closed for a day or two till it's installed? I don't think they'll have to close the trail. Okay, they um, can work on it while they it's can open. Work around it, yeah. Right. Because during the week, uh, you know, during the peak, working hours for Ekman is not really that heavily used. That's a good they point. They see a few people here and there, but I would imagine they'd be able to work around that pretty easily. Okay, thank you. Um, but. I just want to reiterate our thanks to this board for what I said, patience and persistence, because it was a challenge and by far the biggest challenge we had. And um, there were some times where, you know, frustration level was pretty high and, and everybody just maintained, you know, the long, just the objective and, and just working through everything, uh, whether it was construction related, uh, or, you know, Jay 
lease and property owner related. We had all kinds of challenges on this one that uh, you could probably write a book about. <laughs> but you guys were fabulous too. John, I, you left yourselves out. You know, the team that you have, uh, all the volunteers, and you know, yeah, your, your diligence. Uh, you know, at least it's been rewarded. That's the good news. You know, here we are today. But that was, uh, you know, a steep climb for a lot of volunteers that some wouldn't have had the stamina for. Yeah. But thank you. Thank, thank you. So, um, with that, uh, I'll hand it over to Tom because we want to talk a little bit about what's next. You know, this is <laughs> we always have something in the in the hopper, so to speak, uh, and that would be. Uh, Closing this gap now between Chestnut Street, where the trail stops, and 25th Street, um, where this phase seven begins. That's what we call phase six. Mm -hmm. And then um, that's what we want to talk about immediately today, I guess. Before you start talking, I just mentioned one thing uh, related to phase seven. Uh, John, just important to note that we did meet with the new owner of the farm. And uh, yeah reviewed all of the crossings and everything like that and, and I think there's a good work working relationship yeah, absolutely. there with the new owner. Absolutely. The new owner uh, is actually a, a trail user, um, a, lot, a heavy trail user. Most weekends he likes to ride the trail with his family so uh, yeah, we had a great first meeting and I think he'll be uh, um, a supportive asset to, yeah, we'll have a mutually um, conducive relationship out there now. That is forward. wonderful to hear. Yeah. Okay. Well, commissioners, at your place, you can look at this at your leisure, is our status report that talks about all the things that are taking place right now or will take place with regard to uh, the rail trail. I won't spend any time on that. We're here today to talk about phase six, as John said. That project has been broken down into four sections, 6A, 6B, 6C, and 6D. Our grant application to you uh, that we need your approval for a resolution is for phase 6D, and that's the entire section through the Lebanon Valley Mall taking us back and connecting us with the underpass at 25th Street under the Norfolk Southern Railroad. Uh, this is an amazing project. Uh, John and I were noting out while we were waiting for this uh, presentation that years and years ago, John and our rail trail engineer said, wouldn't it be great if this facility connected with the mall? You know, then we were looking at bypassing the mall and using Norfolk Southern property near the PennDOT County Maintenance Building, and that fell through. But now we have this amazing relationship ongoing with the Lebanon Valley Mall and actually when we build this section of phase six, it's going to be on mall property. Pedestrians, when the mall is open, are going to be encouraged to go through the mall. They are actually improving the interior corridors of the mall for rail trail pedestrian users. They obviously believe it's going to bring more traffic, more business to their stores. So. They gave us a letter of consent. They're providing all the right of way through a long-term linear easement for a dollar. Wow, that's dollar. phenomenal. Amazing relationship. Thank you, Bascom. We've got some really exciting things going on with Phase 6D. But if you look at your map, Phase 6A of this overall project goes through uh, the John E. Wenger Memorial Park. Uh, that's in and around uh, uh, the Lebanon Catholic School Complex. Uh, from there, Phase 6B runs along Chestnut Street uh, all the way out to 22nd Street. It will connect to uh, Gloninger Woods Park in North Cornwall Township. Phase 6C would include a relocated 22nd Street, a turn back of that road to, from PennDOT to North Cornwall Township, a new bridge over the Quidipahill Creek going up to the intersection at 422. That's Phase 6C. And we're working on a whole bunch of aspects of that right now. This is a very complex project. We even have Representative Ryan looking to establish in state legislation additional funding for PennDOT to turn back that road to redo the bridge. So we've got some amazing things happening there in the 6C. But again, our grant application today that we need your approval on is for Phase 6D. And that grant application is a million five thousand. Six hundred twenty-five dollars. 
$1,005,625. This is our first time going after a multimodal transportation fund grant from DCED. These MTF funds are state dollars. We're asking DCED to waive the match on this because of all the other money we're going to have in all the other sections of phase six. And when I talked to the staff about that, they were supportive of that concept. So this would be a 100% funded section of the rail trail that could either be built as a standalone section or if we cobble together all the funding, we still need about $2 million to finish all of phase six because of that new bridge, the realigned roadway. This is a real complex project. But if we cobble all that together, we want to have one contractor, one bid letting, and do the entire project in one big shooting match. And that could possibly happen in 2021. That's what we're shooting for, 2021. So again, the last time I was here, we talked about urgency. Uh, we're still feeling uh, the urgency to get all this done and, and to plan for phase eight, you know, in and around, you know, uh, the areas in North Lebanon Township and beyond. Uh, but today, the grant uh, resolution we need you to approve, we need three copies signed and sealed, is for phase 6D. And with that, I'll stop. Seek a motion. I'll make a motion and then I have a question. I'll second the motion. Seek a motion on the table for a uh, grant application for 6D of the rail trail. Is there any question or comment regarding that? Yes, no. please. Um, with the relocation of the road, does that address the motorcycle? Yes. Concerns. We have a whole series of concerns from the Motorcycle Club and two of their major ones, access into their facility and egress out of it, will be addressed by this. Okay. We only need a sliver take of their property, only like six or eight inches. It's not a great deal, but we want to work with them and so does North Cornwall Township because that home that burned from that tragic car accident, mm -hmm. That now is going to allow North Cornwall Township to improve that road that goes behind the CVS pharmacy, and that would be a really awesome way for motorcyclists to get mm -hmm. in from their rides to their facility, and then coming out, the egress for them, that st steep up climb to get back to Chestnut Street, they've had some accidents there. Yeah. We would eliminate that with the relocated roadway. Would the old roadway go away? Yes, that small portion of it would go away. Okay, and then my other question is, um, living in West Lebanon Township, I know that uh, my supervisors always have concerns about being consulted. By going through the mall, does this take a consultation with West Lebanon Township, or is it all on mall property? Um, and It's all, Commissioner Litz, all on Lebanon Valley mall property, but it may require a revised permit from West Lebanon Township because we're taking away a few parking spaces. Uh -huh. And when that plan was approved for the mall, it was approved based upon X number of spaces. Now it's going to be X number minus probably 15 or 20 spaces. We may have to go back to them for a letter of support to do that and modify the approved plan that was approved way back in the 60s, probably, when the mall came to be. But yeah, we have that well under control. We've consulted them already about the project. They were notified about this grant application. Uh, so we're keeping them in tune throughout this whole process. Wonderful. Those were my questions and, and concerns because it is real close to uh, where I live. I use those areas every day. Anything else? Any questions? Not, uh, all in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So move. Okay. And Tom, thanks for shepherding all this stuff through the state, and, and it, we know it's your relationship with them that means so much to uh, some of these uh, exceptions and uh, the success that we have with that. So we were aware of that. And thank you. Do I leave this with Kathy to have the commissioner <laughs> this sign, or how, how do we do this? He, he, he just blows right by yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're lucky. Yeah, we are. It's really lucky to have Tom's expertise Absolutely. still with us. Okay. Well, did you Did you want to show your big map for anything before you leave? Or? Oh. Is there anything on there you need to reference? It's just going to reference that if necessary, but uh, we just point to phase seven that's now open, which is up yeah. 25th Street Trailhead is the beginning of it, yeah. right there yeah. to Long Lane. That's yeah. what that's what just opened. For, yeah, is open now. Just one anecdotal thing from last evening. Uh, 
I was out to dinner and there were some folks talking at the next table from Lancaster County. Never saw them before. Uh, visitors, you know, to Mount Gretna. And they were talking about, uh, I heard them mention something about riding, bicycling. And then the one, the one woman said, well, you know, call Michelle and have her meet us at the barrel. She can come up from uh, Lidditz and meet us at the barrel. And then I thought to myself, Man, who would have thought, you know, 20 years ago that the, 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 you'd know where to go if you just said the barrel. Yes. You know, and now it's like a, a it's an institution now. The root beer barrel. root beer barrel, yeah. yeah. It's really good job. It's pretty neat. Uh, Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. This is such exciting news. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. Weiner, do you have an extra copy of the status report that I have to sell my house? Yes. If not, they can make copies. I'll make a copy of the way I did. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Pat. Okay.